Hey y'all, it's Kiss. Welcome back. I hope you've had a good week so far. And I really enjoyed putting this set together. And so I hope you enjoy seeing it as much as I have. Um, but this is kind of a good transition for me between all the fall stuff. Y'all know I love fall and I know lots of you do too. But um, it's sunflower season and I love sunflowers. It's one of my favorite flowers and it's kind of... Um, kind of reminds me that fall will be here soon and um yeah I love the bright colors the the spiciness of fall you know the yellows and golds and oranges and so this is kind of uh getting me ready <laughs> I'll just leave it at that um this purse is one from Amazon I'll try to link it again if I can um, it reminds me a lot of a leather tote from Portland, but it's not. And I'm not even sure if this is real leather or not. It kind of feels like it from the outside, but from the inside it does not. But anyway, I like it. And you'll see um, on the inside it has good organization to it. And so I just have some cute little um, key rings and stuff here. This came from Five Below a while back, and it has this little shaky, glittery stuff in here. I wish it had a prettier clip, but I will. And this, I don't remember where I got this from, but I had to because it says, You are my sunshine, and that's what my mama calls me, and so I had to. So anytime something says that, uh, I love it. And um, I don't remember where that came from. Maybe Amazon, but I'm not sure. And then I don't know where this came from either. I've had it forever. And so this purse um, came with a crossbody strap, which I don't even need. I just carry it on my shoulder with these long straps here. Oh, shoot. Did I get the straps crossed? No, I did not. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Uh, it has a real good organization, and I'm not carrying a whole bunch right now. I'm just not in the mood to carry a whole lot, but uh, it has this weird line in here. Um, I do like that I have lots of pockets and stuff, but like things can get lost down in there because it's open all the way down. And this is not like the new book side of the leather or whatever you call it. I don't know what that is. It's kind of velvety, but anyway. Um, I didn't say it already, but there is no place to attach purse charms to the strap so I just attached it to these D rings over here on the sides where the crossbody strap would go and it came with this but it don't look good with what I have on my purse right now so I just tucked it down in there and then so there are two pockets here on this side and there's nothing in one I might end up putting my phone there and then in this one, I just have some wet ones, so I can get to those easily. And this is my kind of um, toiletry type stuff, I guess. So, uh, I don't even know where this came from. But, thought it looked good. And um, has a wristlet, you know, in case you just want to carry this into the bathroom. And so... Um, I just have a liner, Kleenex, breath spray, a stain remover wipe, flossers, a nail file, a tampon, a little mini native deodorant. This one is in, I think it's peach something or other. Some band-aids and an alcohol wipe. And I'm just carrying a few pills in there. So, I'm just keeping it kind of simple right now. There are some things that I might carry sometimes that I don't have right now. And that's okay. Now, I feel like when my daughter is gone for part of the summer, I don't need to carry quite as much. Because there's always things that she needs. And I like to be able to have them on hand. And I'm trying to get her to learn to carry her purse. So when she's not with me, she'll have what she needs. 
So if y'all have ideas to encourage her to get her to carry a purse, let me know because I haven't been too successful. Maybe I need to stop carrying what she needs, and when she don't have what she needs, maybe she'll start carrying one. Anyway, um, that's it for this pouch. And the only thing in this side is a reusable Ziploc bag in case we have leftover food or something. And then there is a middle part right here that zips up, but I don't have it zipped. I just left it open. So I just have my keychain set. Oh man, I keep bumping my camera. Sorry about that. Gets in my way. Anyway, I just have my keychain set in there. And I want to say that maybe this came from Walmart's website a few years ago. Like, I've been collecting sunflower stuff for a few years now because y'all that have been around for a while, y'all know that I do this about every year this time. If not, I don't know, I usually wait until August, but it's pretty close to August already. Anyway, um... I think this key ring came from Five Below. This little tassel kind of bothers me. It's a little whacked out. So I might just take it off. I don't know. But something to fidget with, I guess. So then there is a, a zipper part right here. But I don't really carry much change. So I don't have anything in there. And then um, I have my ID slot there. And then insurance cards. And then there's three card slots over here and then there's a space for money right back there so it's a good size wallet without being very big and then other than that I just have the usual stuff on here my earbuds and there's a pill case so that way you know if if I just want to go in somewhere I can just carry this if I want to And I just packed this up. I haven't even carried it yet. So I'll probably have to carry it before I figure out if there's something that I forgot. So let's see if I can get this pocket back open. That might be all that's in that middle section. I might throw some candy or something in there. Or I might throw some candy in this pocket over here. There's a zipper pocket right here on this other side. And the only thing that's in there right now is um, some little button lights. I need to go by Dollar Tree and find a battery to fit that because I know Dollar Tree sells those batteries and they're a heck of a lot cheaper than other places but I did put a necklace in here um, that also goes with this theme and it also says you are my sunshine I don't remember where I got this from either but it's got a little sunflower on there and this little yellow little um, plastic um, gem thing but anyway, it's cute. I like that layered look that it has. And so, when I need some jewelry, I can just put that on. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, I might end up putting Kleenex or something right here. Lip balm. I forgot lip balm. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, I did leave something out. I just have my shades in here. My shades and my prescription glasses are both in this um, case from Shein. If you have a big case like this, sometimes you can just fit your regular glasses inside your others. Okay, so this is the part that's fun, most fun for most of us is this part right here. This is my makeup pouch. I don't even need pouches with this purse because it's organized so well that I could just put my items on both sides of that zip pocket and it'd be fine but I'm just carrying these because I enjoy them I do wish that the placement of the sunflowers was a little different I wish there were more up here but I didn't even think about that before I ordered it um, and I don't know if that was Amazon or Walmart at the same time I got the wallet I'm not sure but I do like this pouch a lot because it's organized very well so there's pockets over here and then there's a elasticized pocket on this side and then that part down in the middle so it'll hold a lot and then so over here I have a makeup remover wipe a little tiny mirror and I have my um, is this elf yeah my halo glow um, highlighting wand 
some of y'all have probably seen this already, but I love the applicator on that, so I don't have to carry a brush with that. I like to carry things in my purse that don't necessarily have to have a brush. Same thing with this. This is just a, a liquid blush that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just put that on with my fingers. And then here is a little mini mascara that I got as a sample from Ulta. It's a NARS brand. It's pretty good. And then <clears throat> on this other side is where I have my eyeshadow sticks. Uh, yeah, and lip glosses. So I have a couple of um, lip injections here, Too Faced. One is maple and one is chocolate. These are really pretty. I love them so much. It seems wrong to love lip gloss that much, but I can't help it. And here's a little ponytail thingy. And then these, um, oh, here's another, here's a lip oil. Uh, NYX um, Slick Click. So it's it says lip oil, but it's like a tinted balm. It reminds me a lot of the Clinique Black Honey again. I carry several that, that have that same consistency, so it's nice and smooth. I really like tinted balms a lot. And then a um, couple of eyeshadow sticks here. This one is Hard Candy. The name is Cold Brew. That's the color. And this one is, um, can't remember, but it's this green color. I don't wear green a whole lot, but it seems to be a good time of the year for it. And then down in the bottom, I'm carrying my perfumes and uh, lotion, which I'll show you in a minute. So this is another Moogler scent. It's like Angel, uh, another travel size, um, but I mean from the same designer anyway. But this is Alien Goddess. Now regular Alien was really weird. I tried that and it was, I don't know, very musky or dusty or something. I don't know. I didn't like it at all, but I really like this one a lot. It's a heavy, spicy vanilla. Seems to be a good um, transition scent for now for me because um, I'm kind of getting bored with the fresh and fruity scents. I'm ready for something a little spicier and heavier, even though it's still pretty warm outside. So, what just fell? Now that's the one drawback if I open this um, whole thing too far, stuff can fall out. Stuff that back down in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, so besides that, I have my Moogler Angel and my Skylar. This is Tropic, um, Tropical Harvest. This is a, I get a lot of pineapple and citrus maybe. It's a good fruity scent for summer. I still need to wear it some. Um, there's some vanilla in here. Maybe a hint of melon of some kind. Maybe a little apple. Anyway, it's very fruity. Still kind of heavy, so still good for right now. And then I have my um, Balm Dia Bright. A uh, little baby... Um, Sol de Janeiro cream. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, so I'm glad that I finally got this. And I'll probably reuse it, refill it after this is empty, too. But I might end up hoarding it because it's one of my favorites. Do y'all do that? Like, your favorite stuff, you don't want to use it all up, so you just use it for maybe every once in a while or a very special occasion? I need to stop doing that because, I mean, what's the use in buying something if I don't use it? So... And as long as it's a scent, then other people get to enjoy it too. 
Okay, we're almost done. The only other thing in here, I decided to carry more perfume. This is not actually perfume, it's a mist. But anyway, this is my favorite um, Sol de Janeiro scent. 71, it's very creamy, buttery, nutty. It's got um, caramel and hazelnut in it, I think. Oh, this one is so nice. It's like, it even gives me a hint of caramel popcorn. I know that sounds crazy and it would be weird for some of you to, to you know, have that scent on you, but I love it. It's just so comforting somehow. Okay, that's all. So, I'm going to set everything up and I will be right back if I can ever get this charm to work right for me. Okay, here you go. I hope I'm not missing anything, but like I said, I probably need to carry it before I figure out what's missing. I know I need to put lip balm in here, and uh, I know I need um, nail clippers in here, but other than that, um, hope you enjoyed it. I know I will, and um, we're going to go out for a little while tonight, so I'll have a chance to carry this one for the first time. And I will see you all again soon. Hopefully, I'll have a good fall Bath & Body Works haul coming up here in a few days. If it'll hurry up and get in here. I'm really anxious for it. And um, really, like, oh, y'all. Y'all know how long I've been talking about Wicked Vanilla Woods. Wicked Vanilla Woods is finally back. I'm so excited and so happy. So, I got some of that while I could. And anyway, I will see you again soon. Thank you all so much for watching and for your love and support. And be back later. Okay, bye.